Are you interested how 10 second tests can bring you higher results or even higher revenues? So let's check it out. My name is Tina and this is a 20 day awesome web challenge and today is this already sixth day and as I mentioned in the beginning we will be looking more into a 10 second test so what it is and how it works out well the idea is just to actually show to some strangers or people who don't know your web page or your business at all your web page and get very short and brief feedback like what they got from your web page in the first first few seconds because the first few seconds matters because i don't know if you knew but actually in the first like three or four seconds is the biggest decision every single user is actually making on your web page what is this decision well they're actually deciding if they're going to stay or leave so uh, the idea is to actually just approach some strangers to just to talk to them show them your web page on your phone and on your laptop and ask them what they remember what they saw in there and as you can see I'm out in the streets because I will want you to also go out in the streets well the thing is that as I already mentioned in the beginning um, you are going to do a 10 second test it's not hard it's actually super easy you just need to get out and talk to strangers on the streets or maybe your colleagues who don't know your web page. That's very important, actually. And here's Ondra. So let's talk to him and ask actually him. Hey, Ondra. Hello. <laughs> so, Ondra, I have actually one small request on you. I will need you to actually look on this one, one page, if I will manage to open my phone, and you will look at it just for 10 seconds. Okay, just look at it. Okay. Here we go. So now we actually give him can the I, phone. Can I scroll? You can scroll, you can just look for these 10 seconds whenever on this web page. And he has 10 seconds, like specifically 10 seconds. So actually stop it. And okay, that's it. So Andra, thank you. Just take him the phone. So you remember from the web page, what did you see? I see that there is a big discount, 50%. So this is eShop. Uh -huh. And then I see pictures of uh, t-shirts and some necklace. So probably it will be some fashion eShop with a huge discount, 50% <laughs> discount. <laughs> okay, so you can actually see that he remembers a huge discount and he got the idea that it was some eShop with some fashion. And the question right now for you is, is this really your issue or is this really what you want to hear from strangers? If yes, that's 100% correct and you don't need to change a thing. If this is not 100% true and you want to hear something else from the people, then you should think what you should change on your web page. So thank you, Andre, for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> And also another thing is that you should test it with your phones. That's the reason why I had the phone, but also with your laptops. So try to make at least like three of these testing with a phone. Then in that case, you can test your responsive design. And another thing, try to test at least or talk to three people with your laptop. And now let's go to my laptop because I will show you more examples in that. As I mentioned, basically the same idea is uh, with your laptop. And right now I just want to show you how it could look like. I have prepared four random web pages. So let's see if you will be able in these random web pages say what they are doing. So here is the first web page. And you have 10 seconds to look at it. So. What do you think about the first web page? Is it clear? Now you are the tester, so it's up to you. Here's the second web page.
from my point of view, this was pretty clear. You could saw some jewelries in there, so I guess you already guessed that this company is providing jewelry, wedding rings, and all these kind of things. And here is the third web page. What do you think about the third one? Is it all right? Does it make sense? Was it clear? Maybe do they need some repairments? Maybe a new web page? And here's the last one. What do you think about the last web page? Was it clear for you? For me, it was pretty clear. I'm actually using it also, so that's maybe the reason why is it clear for me. <laughs> now is it up to you? Try to find three people for a mobile testing and another three people for a desktop testing. Uh, it's very simple. Anyway, these people should not know your business. They should not have seen your web page before. So be careful about your traces. And 10 seconds is really enough. That's it. You just need to get the first impression what they got out of your web page. That's it. In the next video, tomorrow, we will be actually digging a little more deeper and we will be asking these or the other people a little more questions about your web page. So don't worry, you will find out more about it. <laughs>